Hey guys, this is watching because you want to learn me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode, the second episode of Let's Build a Cargo Port here in Minecraft. We're off to a really strong start. First episode, we built this entire crane. It's nearly finished, but I want to finish it off today. And then I want to build a building over here. And uh, the building was in the cargo map on Black Ops 2. And I want to do a similar style building uh, to that. But I think it's going to be probably a little bit smaller and a little bit. Far I'm pretty sure everything on the cargo 2 Black Ops map was inside of this crane. I think this crane actually covered the and ow hit my elbow the entire map. I think uh, on this one we're doing it a little bit differently. But I need a I need a building there. So uh, first thing with the crane is it's looking a little bit flimsy at the top. It's looking a little bit uh, how do you say like airy, let's say. And what I want to do is I want to have another circle, or another two circles, one directly above this one. Okay, that goes all the way around, and the same on this side as well. So it'll be like this, but obviously all the way around. Okay, and then to cover up the middle areas, uh, I want to leave this part, like, air to go through it because this is where the crane rotates through. Uh, but on the bottom side and on the top side, we need to cover it up. And I think I want to go with a somewhat of a darker block, um, almost like, a, you know, a stone would actually be really good or even a grey wool. We haven't used grey wool yet. Uh, something like this, and then this would actually cover up entirely underneath and on top and that's what i think is going to make this look a hundred percent better it's already i think it's already looking cool but i think it's going to make it a hundred percent better okay so i can do that off camera later on in the episode for the building itself i've got a really like dodgy image of what the building did uh, used to look like uh, on black ops 2 but it's a really bad one i'm going to be using clay and we're going to be using uh, oops red clay uh, it had like a little bit of red on it and then we want slabs i think these ones will be perfect uh, we want glass and then there's a few blocks that i think would just look really cool and the first one being i think it's in the train mod uh pipes straight pipes because that was a, actually a big feature oops, of this building okay so let's say the entrance i don't want to be have the entrance underneath the two underneath the crane i think around about here and what we're going to do is we're going to do a two block thick uh, sort of partition wall. And then this is where the uh, front door would be. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do it two blocks wide, our sort of normal door width. Like that. And then another partition like this. And this went up with windows above it. It actually went up uh, just two stories from what I can remember. Well, no, the, no, no. The building was two stories, but there was a third story that was inaccessible, but only visible from the outside in the middle part uh, here. So this would be the window that you could actually look and shoot out of on Black Ops. And then I want, I want to see, would it look good if we had... No, that's the answer. <laughs> that, that, that made it really easy, didn't it? Uh, one, two, three blocks between, perfect. And then this goes above. Now, some of this needs to be red. So I think I'm going to swap from here to there. And I'm going to swap clay with 159.14. Replace clay with 159.14. Oops. There we go. So that makes a nice sort of uh, red section. And then the clay can continue up on either side. Uh, this is an inaccessible window. I think we're probably going to want to have some sort of slab. Oh, that doesn't look too bad above it. So then I probably want this to go one block higher than that. I think that would be around about the right sort of height. Obviously, we'll be adding more detail. We just need to sort of get the shape, the size, the height, uh, and the plan for the sort of uh, area it's going to take up first. Now... This comes back a little bit. I think I'm going to join it up to the same length as that one. And then the main part or the sides of the buildings are going to be here. Now this is where the pipes come in because the, this was a feature that I always liked on Black Ops. You always saw it but nobody ever paid any attention to it. And it was these pipes. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> it was these pipes that went up the side of the building. They're perfect for our building Minecraft here. Uh, I don't think they need to go any higher than that, really. 
ding, 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 ding. Uh, so there was two big pipes there. And then the windows sort of uh, were built around. I think most people probably, uh, in fact, missed uh, the look of it, to be honest. Never even noticed it. Uh, I definitely need these ones here. So I have these coming all the way up. Uh, it doesn't need to be to the same height. In fact, it needs to be uh, to that height, I think. Because this is going to be... No, that's going to be the floor level. Well, that's where the floor level should be. No, so that's good height. That's 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 a good height to start off with. And then there was windows behind it. Now, these pipes actually covered up uh, one of the windows. But I think there was four windows total. Uh, but they were big, big, big windows. Uh, we want them on the same height as this window here. Obviously, to get everything to match. That's the one. Uh, and this part isn't red. This is just... Uh, like a grey colour, but I think the clay is perfect. It's got this uh, rough texture, this clay. Uh, like a like a concrete uh, almost texture. And then if the windows, let's say the windows were three blocks by two blocks high. So that would be one window. That would be the second window. That would be the third window. And that would be the fourth window. That's a pretty good size, right? And uh, we want to add... An extra block on the end. That's perfect how that covers it up. I want to add an extra block on the end. Because this is going to be the corner. Approximately. Might add some sort of thickening detail in there. I might even shift all those windows back by one block. That could look cool as well. Maybe if we used uh, clay. Dark clay. If we got a clay here. Let's get rid of the glass for the minute. And if we shift this back by one. Just the window section. I might even make the uh, middle parts of the window red. That could add a, uh, a nice bit of colour to the outside. Uh, like that. And then we get a little bit of depth now. Everything, the, the whole wall isn't just flat and boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. I want to add another grey underneath this. So we get rid of that one. Then I want to add a slab. as a little bit of sort of detail. I might add slabs above and below the windows as well. I, I, it didn't look good on that one because I think it, that's when it was grey. But now that it's red, we could do something like that. It makes the windows look a little bit smaller. A little bit more peaky hole style. But it adds a really cool sort of... Um, two-tone color effect to it like this and this and here okay that's looking pretty cool uh i want to have i think these aren't windows this is just sort of more details so i think we're going to do a thin one wide sort of section uh, oops, of gray like this and then add something in it like a uh, um, black wool and then uh, some iron bars in front of it or some sort of block like that. Almost like it's uh, a grill, like a heat sink grill or something like that. It doesn't look too bad like that. But what about if we add the iron bars in the middle? I think it just adds a nice little bit of detail to the, to the building. And then these two bottom ones can just be the clay out of this level. So we've got like a, almost like a really strong foundation to it. No windows needed down here. This is almost like the top of the basement level. Uh, you could enter th in the Black Ops game. You could enter through uh, this door where this door would approximately be. And then there'd be a staircase that went up to the second floor. But then there was also on the outside a door on this side that went down into the basement. Where I think a couple of forklifts were. Maybe some power generation. Uh, something along those lines was. Uh, let's add these two up here. Up, down, up, down, up, down. All the way across like this. And you know what? I don't think that's such a bad start. Might add a little bit more grey up. Ooh. Ooh. This isn't actually like from the Black Ops uh, building. But it could look pretty cool. Can I separate this out? Like if I do every four. 
No, I can't. I'm going to have to keep it in line with the windows, aren't I, to do this? Like that, and like that. And then have either the grey or a different block. I might go with the grey. The old grey wool. Yeah, grey wool would work. And then have this over the top. This is just like a, like a roof design. So we have that one. We have this one. This will go like all the way across the top of the building when we find out how uh, deep the building is. So we'll just add sort of a few blocks here for the minute. Okay. Something like that. And then the clay wraps over the top like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the great thing about inspiration. Starting off with something that you like the look of and that you want to sort of build, but then coming up with your own sort of small little changes throughout. See, that's a cool roof now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then. Uh, the side. This side had an entrance. I completely forgot about this entrance. This one had an entrance on the ground floor. Uh, around about here and it had an entrance on the first floor as well up here I think the door in fact was exactly above it I'm pretty sure okay we need the I don't need the gray on the dark ground this no I'm gonna stick with the clay just the normal clay on this side and on this nope this is the door level. Yeah, so that can go across there. And then this is where the second door was. And this had, for some reason, I, I might, my memory might be um, a little bit wrong. But I'm pretty sure that this was, they had picnic benches. Am I right by saying that? Picnic benches? On this side? Um, there was like a wooden, a wooden, uh, like a, an oak. Yeah, oak balcony that came out around about here and I think I think the staircase was on the right hand side that's probably wrong it doesn't matter if it's wrong we're not doing an exact replica um, I'm gonna do it three blocks wide though uh, I think it was on this side it might be on the other side I don't think it was directly in line with it but a staircase came down somewhere for you to get up onto that level. <laughs> and this is a cool part as well. You might notice that the building is going to go over into the ocean. That doesn't matter at all because what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, modifying the shape of the uh, platform that it's on to suit the port we're, we're not bothered we're not trying to fit it into an area we're not doing, trying to design it in a specific shape we're just going to design it and then make the floor match everything else it, not only is it an easier way uh, but it gives us a lot more options this looks really dull and blank and boring we're going to have to do something about that for the moment i'm not quite sure what so we're just going to have to continue on but it, it looks a little bit dull and boring maybe it won't when the whole building's sort of finished but for the moment it looks a little bit dull and boring okay the back, I don't need to worry too much about. Uh, we'll just put sort of windows of that style in. But uh, let me do a little bit of work on this. I'm going to copy and paste that wall over here. Um, I should work on the back. And then we should come back once I'm getting to something a little bit more interesting. Oh, and I'll also do the crane as well. I should be back. Okay, so it looks like I've done a bunch of work here when actually I haven't. Uh, I've kept the sides obviously nice and basic for the moment. I actually like it a lot more, uh, like the, the blank side there now that it's sort of all complete, uh, more than I did before. Uh, but it looks like I've sort of just gone away and just finished the building. I haven't actually done that. All I've done is continued on the patterns that we've already started. So like the roof, I just continued backwards. For the back, i just done exactly, for the moment, exactly the same as the front. Apart from there's no door here, obviously. Uh, these windows will probably not stay. Uh, there weren't any windows on the Black Ops map on this side of the building, at least, uh, that I can remember. Uh, because I don't think there was anything really behind this or this was the outside of the map You couldn't get into the area that I'm standing in now And we've got to think that there's a staircase that comes up somewhere here And then there was another staircase up somewhere as well some 
Oh, no, it was under the ground floor, wasn't it? Yeah, there was two staircases in here uh, either way. This side still looks for some reason worse than the other side. The other side, even though it's just clay blocks, looks a lot better. Uh, I think it's actually the hole, the doorway, that's actually throwing this off and making it not quite look as cool. Um, I'm pretty sure that there was some sort of overhead balcony area as well on this. I'm, I'm pretty sure... So what if we tried something like that with some fences? Uh, we'll use those ones as like a barrier. And on this side as well, we should just poke it out a little bit. And have these. I, man, there's, it's been so long. It's been years since I last played this game, let alone this map. Uh, or the map similar to this. But I'm sure there was something on their slab. I'm sure there was something above your head here. I'm so sure of it. What block can we use to sort of just as a nice cover up dark oak? Hmm. Like that one. That one. And that one. Yeah, okay, already that's really helped uh, the entire look of the whole thing, to be honest. That's that's really set it off. It also might be that the, the ground here doesn't cover up the entire, uh, f like, foundation of the building. That probably doesn't help at all. So let's grab this and on this side. Now, there was a little bit of room on this side uh, that you could walk around on. There was a, a forklift out here, for example, that you could you could sort of get on. Let's go to there. And set it to 112. There we go. So now we've got the foundation on here. The door was pretty much in the middle. But it went down into the basement. If we want to do that, do we want to have the basement? I think it would be cool to have a basement. It's a little bit more work. Uh, but I think it would be pretty cool. I think to get us down low enough, uh, we're probably going to want to start somewhere back here. And I'm going to carve away six blocks wide in line with where I want the door to be. It might We might go back further. And then I'm going to get the slabs of the same variety. And we're going to come down a half slab every block. So it's almost like a staircase that goes down. Now we are going to drop into the water for a moment, but we can clear the water out later on. Like that one. And down another one. And then down one more. So we've got a few little water... Se Ooh, uh oh. We've got a few little water sections to, to dry up. I would use a sponge, but I think that would actually wreck more than what I'm trying to fix. Uh, to, to, to suck all the water up. So we want this to come around the sides and down this side I think I missed a block on that side in fact Ugh. yeah I think I missed that one and then I need to somehow make sure that I can get out of here as well uh, how am I going to be able to get out of here like that okay so the door is no longer here Instead, the door is going to be down here. And I should be able to still get through. I can have the ground level. Let's say we use oak for the ground level for the moment. So that would be ground level. And then let's put up a border for the moment. We'll just put like a black uh, blank doorway up so the water can't keep coming through. And then I should probably use... Something like clay. To get rid of the water. Oops, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, that's pretty good. This can be swapped out with clay. Uh, clay, put the door back in. Oops. Okay, and then we go down to the basement, okay? The basement's down there. So, uh... We want to have, this is where the cranes were, outside. I might have to extend that a little bit further then, if we want to get the cranes in. And I think there was a few, I think there was a few container ships around this area as well. 
But I really like that. It's a cool little feature uh, to the building. There was a window as well that you could shoot out of on this side. It was about there, and it was like a real sneaky window because you could see... Let me get in. You could see down here uh, towards the crates over there and like an alleyway. It was like a really, really sneaky one. Hmm. Do we just like leave that? See, it looks so weird just having like a hole in it. Maybe it'll look a little bit different when we get some glass in. When we get some windows in, maybe that will help a little bit. Uh, but is there, can I like change the design a little bit on this side uh, to to help with the look? Obviously, I could do the clay design, but I don't think that would really work all that well. Clay. Like, could I use some more red on this side and this side? Okay, so that's, that's definitely helped a little bit. And I think that's helped some more. I think that's uh, lined the window a little bit more. It's made it more of a, of a feature instead of just a hole uh, that we had. Definitely need some more detailed stuff around the top here. See, this part looks so boring and blank. What if we made this clay come out an extra block? Now, I know it's not a different color, but what it does do is it gives, some, gives us some shadows, uh, like some extra overhang areas. I think I like that. And what if this slab went all the way through like that as well what if it went around this like it went around the oh i like that and then we had it also wrap around this one like that hang on how come there's ah ah ha 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 uh, ooh. <gasps> i've noticed i've, I've noticed a mistake I've got, this needs to have a, oops, this needs to have a clay line here for that slab to go on, but then this window is pushed up right against it. It's like I need to move somehow everything over, but yeah. Mm. Okay, everything on this side needs to be moved over by, by one block. I'll be back. Okay, problem solved. Just moved it over by one. That's all it was. Uh, yeah, it, I knew I knew something was wrong, but I just couldn't couldn't quite put my finger on it. I don't know what it was. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, I can't extend. Well, I can if I take away that top layer. I want to add that same clay addition as we had on the other side, like that. I think I might put these in on the underside as well. Yeah, I think that looks neat, doesn't it? Maybe there in there as well. Make it sort of a square it off a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, no, I like that. Okay. Marvellous. Might have some smoke, some cobwebs coming out of the two uh, funnels. Who knows? Uh, no, I am good. Whew. I keep getting worried. I'm like, ah, something might still be wrong. Something might still be wrong. This line can go away. And all of this needs to be clay. I don't want I don't want leaves. That's the last thing that we need in a port. Uh, that one and that one. Uh, set clay. Hello, clay in my face. And set clay. Uh, along the top here, we just put down these. I can't remember how far I need to come out, so I'm just going to keep clicking for a little bit. Somewhere around here. And it's got to be in line with this one. Now, I might as well do the clay up to the same level as what the... Or the same height, as, sorry, as what the clay came up to on the other side. But with no door. We don't need a door on this back side. And then we put the red clay in. And I might as well, again, put the windows in. I've got a feeling that I'm like a block out or something weird like that. I should really start it at the top. That would have been the easier place to, to gauge it from. Yeah, I was one block too high. That one, and that one. Is that really right? Yeah, that is right. Okay, so we want... Ooh, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. 
<laughs> getting through a two block wide area while flying is not as easy as you might think there and there now was there any slabs or anything that went across i'm pretty sure that there probably was right no there isn't should there be there should be should this come all the way out and around these as well Yeah, I think so. I might even square that off and have it just flat over the front. I think that's pretty good. And I don't think we need a divide between those two windows. I think it's fine with just the, the red how it is between. Let's have these ones. I've got a feeling that this side comes out one block extra as well. Like, that's two blocks. And on this side, it doesn't matter. Yeah, on this side, it's one block. Should I then move everything out by one? Go on then. Seeing as though it's not a big problem. Cut. And paste. Oops. There we go. And then add just one more extra one in there. Do I want does this overhang on the front? I think I like the overhang. So if it doesn't on the front, I'll add one. Yeah, it does. Okay. There we go then. There's our sort of first building in. I think it looks really neat. Um, I think it suits the area really well. Let's put the shaders on. I think it's uh, a really nice sort of uh, colour scheme that we've got to sort of suit into this area. It's very industrial looking. I've got hiccups. Which is exactly what we want as an industrial looking building. Where's the sun? I want to move the sun maybe over a little bit more that way. Time set... There we go. Maybe a little bit more. Let's get sort of down there. There, a little bit up. There we go. It's hard to get a good sort of sunlight on the front of this building because we've got the whole crane uh, in the way of it. But as long as we can sort of get some nice lines going through, I think it'll look quite cool. I really, really like that. Uh, for the windows, I think it'll be white stained glass. Uh, full blocks as well, and it's just placed behind the slabs. Really, really easy uh, to place down. Like that one. And that one. Let's just do sort of one side and see if we like it or not. In the shaders, it makes stained glass or... Pretty much all glass, but stained glass mostly. Uh, almost like an ice block. Uh, it has that sort of similar sort of look to an ice block. It's quite strange. Ow, it's so bright. There we go. Yeah, see, that looks so cool now that we've got the windows in there. That actually really helps. What with the shaders off? Yeah, I don't know. That does really, really help. Look at that. Oh, wow, what a big difference. All right, guys, that's all that I've got time for this episode. If you enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. That big poll there is just where I copied and pasted it. That can be deleted. Uh, next episode, we might be adding some containers or doing a little bit of the layout of, like, where you can walk uh, and sort of plan that part out. Okay, I shall see you then.